Camp Lehman Upfit here, and we are at the Southeast Adventure Vehicle Expo in Stark, Florida. And first thing we're going to do is go through the parking lot, check out all the uh, rigs of stuff that people had driven here, who maybe own a shop or whatever, but they're not inside the show. So let's go check them out. And not everything's going to be a Jeep. There's going to be some non-Jeeps here for you non-Jeepers. These Enios, if that's how you say it, seem to be all the rage. People seem to love them. Kind of cool. I like the look of them. It kind of has that old school look to it. And over here, we got a JK. Nice clean JK on 40s. And that ain't no stranger. That's a Ford Ranger. And then this Sarge Green 392 caught my eye with some metal cloak fender flares. And I like how they painted the inside Sarge Green and black on the outside. So you still have that almost factory look here. Awesome looking Jeep. Sweet looking Jeep. You can tell he uses it. It's got some rash on him. I love the Sarge Green. The metal cloak flares look really good on their painted that way. How you doing? Just fine. Your Jeep? Yes. I love the flares. Thanks. Our metal cloak, we love our metal cloak stuff, and I just have, like the paint like that, so it's kind of yeah. charged green on the inside, still they're black on the other. I manage a body shop, so now that was... painting stuff's easy. Then here we got a Rubicon Gladiator on 38s. I don't know what lifts on it. I see it's got a Rock Sport steering stabilizer on it. Still got the original Rubicon shocks, but. It's got some airbags on the back to offset the trailer. Nice looking Jeep wheel. I like the Arsenal wheels. So I've got a diesel gladiator here on 40s. Still on uh, Dana 44 axles. Nice KMC beadlocks. Nice Jeep. And here we've got an older Ford F Series on 46 inch tires. It's kind of got some Baja inspired front fenders on it. It's really cool. It's not a Jeep, but I dig it. Some exhaust up high. <laughs> I like this old step bumper with a winch built into it. And it looks like it's Cummins powered, I guess. I can't see under it, but it looks like it's got a Cummins in it, they say. It does have a Cummins in it, actually. You can see he's got a glass inner fender well there. You can see it's got a Cummins in it. And here we got a Toyota Tacoma for you Toyota lovers. I don't know what color you call this. In the Jeep world, it's almost like Gobi. But uh, Toyota Tacoma on 37s looks like a nice build. I see a lot of Icon suspension under it. And I would say it's been off-road enough that uh, it's gotten into the wheels a little bit. So you got to love that. Got another Tacoma beside it with a spare tire mounted on the back in like a charcoal gray color. Okay, we might as well keep the Toyota theme going. We got another Toyota beside that one on 40s. Oh, and it's a solid axle swap on coilovers. Looks like a really nice build. Nice Toyota. Beside that, we've got vans. There's vans everywhere here. This is of the Ford Persuasion. Big old van. There's a lot of van lifers here. An awning, big old roof rack. See it had a Wabesco heater exhaust on the other side there. able to fit a 12,000 pound Smitty built synthetic line winch in that front bumper. Pretty cool. We got a pumpkin JL down here. Oh, but man, 
Here's my biggest pet peeve. That's my biggest pet peeve. He was either robbed during the night and somebody stole his winch, or he needs beat. We got a TRX over here. Nice diamondback cover. If you don't know, a TRX is like a Dodge Ram with a Hellcat engine in it. We got a Sarge Green Gladiator with some bronze method wheels. It's a pretty common, we do these a lot, good combination between each other. It's got a smart cap on them. We sell a lot of smart caps to people. It's a nice, basic 35 inch combination. Looks like this has got a Skyjacker lift on it. Um, what a nice, basic built Gladiator. Looks like he's a Trail Recon fan. I like the bronze accents on the hood, like the uh, 392 Rubicon decal on the hood instead of the red. Looks good. We got an all stock, it looks like. Pumpkin Mojave. I'm not a Mojave guy, but if I was, it'd be pumpkin would be my choice. But on pumpkin, I think you need a paint match top and a paint match defender flare on pumpkin, but it's a nice looking gladiator. Here we've got a diesel GMC Canyon. Pretty cool because this diesel. I don't know who makes these bumpers, but I like this rear bumper is a huge wraparound for rock crawling. Power coat on it didn't hold up nice, but I like how much solid that is clear across the bottom. It's a nice looking GMC Canyon. It's cool that it's diesel. AV snorkel. Here we've got an orange Porsche. I believe these are Macon's. Um, I could be wrong, but you don't see very many right? Porsche sitting up. It's on 33 inch BF Goodrich KO2s. I'm not that familiar with these, but I think it's super cool. I said a bumper and no winch was my biggest pet peeve, but it might not be. I, th I think I've got a new biggest pet peeve. And speaking of mall crawlers, this is my wife's 23 Sport that we put the Mojave hood on. Um, we've got Dana 44 e-locker axles that we did full trusses and cast iron knuckles on, 456 geared. Um, it's just got a Mopar lift with the Fox two and a half shocks, uh, Fox steering stabilizer. It's nothing fancy. Um, she wanted Sky One Touch and half doors, so this is it. It's sitting out in the parking lot. It's got fishbone bumpers on it and a rugged ridge tire carrier. I call it a budget build, but people will yell about that probably because it's got high dollar axles under it. And here we've got a crazy wide-bodied Bronco. It's got a pretty big quarter kit on it and the front fenders that make this thing just massively wide. And an LJ always catches my eye. This is a really clean LJ. I see it's got some Skyjacker springs and metal cloak arms, metal cloak fenders, bumpers tire carrier, side armor, fender flares, and steps. Check it out. And for those of you who don't know, an LJ is a TJ that's an unlimited. So you get a little extra room right here on an LJ over a TJ. They don't even made LJs for 04, 05, and 06, I believe. I also see metal cloak gas tank skid plate and steering gearbox skid plate. And here we've got a Dodge Ram with a truck bed camper on it and it's a flatbed style. We just picked up a 24 Ram that we are going to do something similar to this but in a dually platform. So I really like it. In a flatbed, now you pick up all this extra storage. Instead of having a big old bed in the way, if you're holding a camper, you really don't need it. So we're going to start a project kind of like this and do a whole series on it. And here's another 392 in Sarge Green. This one's built up pretty nice. It's on Fusion 8 lug axles. I see uh, Next Venture bumper, Next Venture fender flares. 
Um, I see a generate rear bumper, I think, and a generate tire carrier in the rear. It's on big old 40s. I see metal cloak control arms. Looks like the whole metal cloak suspension. But same generate rear bumper as we have on R392. Same generate tire carrier that we have on R392. On some KMC locks. Smartic Industries inner fenders. I see that some Apex steering or some RPM steering and some PSC steering assist. Metal cloak skid plates, nice Jeep. And here we got a Yoder Toter as we call them, van, like you see the Amish have. But this one's in four wheel drive. Uh, got some long arm on the front, like a radius long arm. Pretty cool, I don't know how big those tires are, some 33s. 33, 14 and a halfs. You don't see very many four wheel drive vans. If you do, I know there was a company, uh, I think it was called Quigley, that used to build them. I don't know if they still are in business or not. If this was a Quigley or if this is one a guy put together himself, but it's pretty cool. All right, so here we have this Unimog. We met him at the hotel this morning. He's from Sarasota, Florida. Super cool. Gets he's got three of them. One for him, one for his wife, one for their two-year-old. Let's check it out. It's an awesome looking unit. Just look how tall it is. Perfect arm height. And the only thing left is, are you down to Mog? That's it for our parking lot walk arounds. Let us know what your favorite rig was and if you liked watching. We're thinking about doing more walk arounds at other shows. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more show coverage. Have a good one.